This is the first question. In a crowded city far away, the civic authorities decided that rents were too high. The supply function of two room rental apartments was given by Q equals 14 plus 5P. And the demand function was given by Q equals uh, 329 minus 5P. Where P is the rental rate in dollars per week and Q is the total output. Uh, and the demand function, oh, okay, sorry. The authorities made it illegal to rent an apartment for more than $25 per week. To avoid a housing shortage, the authorities agreed to pay landlords enough of a subsidy to make supply equal to demand. How much would the weekly subsidy per apartment have to be to eliminate excess demand at the ceiling price, calculate the producer and consumer surplus after subsidy, and calculate the cost of subsidy to the civic authorities? So again, I know this is very much like what we learn in the intermediate micro, but I just wanted to you know, refresh our memories, at least with one example. So this is quantity, this is price graph, as usual. So the supply curve is 14 plus 5P. So even P is zero, it's gonna start from 14, and so this is what supply curve is. And then the demand curve, uh, I just roughly draw it this way, is this QD guy. And so the market price should be this. Uh, what is this price? Well, 14 plus 5P equals 329 minus 5P. So 10P equals uh, 305. 315, so P is equal to 31.5. Okay, right? And then I don't know what the quantity is. Uh, do I need it? Probably because eventually I'm gonna calculate consumer. Well, we don't have to calculate it mathematically. We can just uh, show on the graph. Uh, it's easier. So yeah, whatever the quantity is, use the supply curve or the demand curve. Well, the question says uh, the minimum price is going to, I'm sorry, the maximum price is gonna be $25 which is below the market price. So $25 is the new set price. Well, clearly uh, th this is gonna be quantity demanded at this price. Uh, let's call it Q star D. I mean, and this is the supplied quantity. So there's gonna be an excess demand, all right? Well, uh, the government or the civic authority does not want an excess demand. So they are planning to subsidize the who? Producers, the landlords. The how much subsidy should they offer? That's the question, at, at least the first part of the question. Answer, okay, to, so here, QS, uh, under subsidy, right? Let's call it QS new. Hmm. Huh, okay, when you say the difference, what is that? How do I calculate it? Right? I mean, yeah, good. The difference between these two supply curves must be the subsidy level. Exactly. Good intuition. But what is it? $5, $10, how do I find it? I mean, the finding this difference is kind of easy, right? I mean, if you calculate, for example, this quantity level, uh, just plug it to your supply curve, find this level, this, this P. So uh, can we just do it? Yeah, yeah well, we have to first find this QD star. But whatever it is, just plug it to your supply curve, you're gonna find this price. Let's call it P new. So P new minus 25 is the uh, uh, amount of um, surplus, subsidy. So P new minus 25 is the amount of subsidy you need, all right? But again, it's like, I mean, there are a bunch of other ways to find it as well. It's like, this is not the only way. That's it. Well, then the question asks like, what is the consumer surplus, producer surplus, blah, blah, who? Uh, yeah, I am going to need a new graph for this. 
So let's do it. So this is the supply curve. Um, I'm going to denote the demand curve here, QD. And then the thing is, the new, so this is, don't forget, the 31.5, but we want price to be $25. And so this has to be the new supply curve. I put this old supply, I leave the old supply curve there on purpose because I know it's going to confuse you. Uh, so what is the consumer surplus? Which area? Yeah, I need to uh, point out some uh, notations. So in order to find, well, first off, in order to find the consumer surplus, producer surplus, whatever, what do I need? I need to find the total quantity that will be traded, right? So this is the new supply and the new demand curve. All right. So always the area between, oh, okay. Yeah, that's a, that's a good question. Uh, let's make, so let's make this triangle A. Uh, all right, I mean this triangle is A. And then this weird shape is B. This small triangle is C, D, uh, E, uh, F, G. Do I need any other point? Yeah, let's make this triangle A, this region uh, H, uh, J, K. I think that's all I need, okay? So the question is, what is the consumer surplus? After subsidy, not before subsidy. I mean, if, if we're talking about before subsidy, it's simple, right? Forget about this old uh, new demand uh, supply curve. Just calculate the uh, consumer producer surplus. But after subsidy, what is the consumer surplus? A? HBC. A, H, B, C. Uh, did you include A as well? Oh, okay. A, H, B, C. Huh. Consumer surplus, area between demand curve, price line. The demand curve is there, price is 25. You're calculating uh, the consumer surplus as if the consumers pay uh, much higher than $31.5, but they don't. They, I mean, if you want to rent an apartment, your weekly payment is $25. So therefore, you have to subtract your demand. Demand is your maximum willingness to pay minus the price you pay, which is 25. So therefore, it's not this triangle A, but the bigger triangle A, H, B, and C. So this one is consumer surplus. All right? Um, and then... So let me write it, A plus H plus B plus C. What about the producer surplus? The same reasoning, price minus uh, the uh, supply curve, right? So what is it? B, C, and D. D and E. Oh, okay. D and E. Uh, what about B and C? Uh, how much price? I mean, what is the price the sellers receive? Uh, when we have subsidy tax, the problem is usually we distort the buyer's price and the seller's price. All right, that's a distortion. Normally, when we have no intervention, Supply equals demand, we have just one price. This is the price the buyers pay, and it's the price sellers receive. But when we have subsidy or tax, we, we, we change that. The price buyers pay it could be higher or lower than the price sellers receive. So think about it. This is a subsidy environment. So I have a customer I rent the house, legally I, am, I, I have to charge $25, no more. But is this the only money I receive, 
25. No, I receive subsidy as well, right? So therefore, the seller's price is not 25. What is it? Hmm? P new, you mean this? What is it? What is the price? You see, you see what I mean? The sellers are not going to receive $25 because they're going to receive subsidy per apartment they rent. They still get 3125 but we pay 25 the rest of the amount they put the government. But is the rest this much? No, right? I mean, we discuss it here. The, the, the difference, the, the subsidy level is not this much. The price is not going to go up to 31.5. It's going to go all the way up to this level. So therefore, this is the P new is the seller's price. So therefore, when I calculate the uh, producer surplus, again, the price line and the supply curve. So this area is then what? H. Uh, and bunch of other things, right? H, J, uh, oh, by the way, where is the supply curve? I, I, should I be worried about the new supply curve or the old supply curve? The new supply curve, obviously, because, well, this is the supply. So I, I, I need a bunch of, yeah, well, not at least this one. Uh, let's call it uh, L, yeah. So I need H, J, this is terrible L, L, K, B, C, D, and E. Okay, a lot of things. H, J, L, K, B, C, D, E. We are clearly uh, double counting some areas because the government is pumping money into the market. So this extra, you know, the areas where we're double counting, this should be the cost of subsidy for the government. So what is the cost of subsidy? Uh, well, it's simple, right? The subsidy amount times the number of uh, houses rented. So the subsidy amount is this difference and the number of houses that are uh, traded is this one, the Q new. So therefore, this tri uh, triangle, rectangle, is going to be the government's cost, which is then H plus B plus C plus J plus K. Okay? So that is the uh, cost of the subsidy to the government. Important correction. So the producer surplus is correct except L, all right? So L should not be there, uh, this region, this triangle. And the reason is, well, this L will never be materialized because uh, the total number of houses that will be rent is Q new, all right? Beyond that, those quantities, well, yes, uh, suppliers would like to, uh, su so the suppliers would like to supply, but the thing is, there is no uh, demand for those quantities, all right? So once again, so this is the price for the sellers. They receive, uh, I don't know, more than $31.5 because of the uh, subsidy. So for that reason, they want to supply more than Q new, uh, but the thing is, there's not enough demand for it, right? Um, and so for that reason, this surplus region L will never be materialized, and hence it cannot be part of producer surplus. So therefore, producer surplus is H J plus um, K B C D E. Question.